All right, guys, back on again. Uh, I don't know if you've checked out my shorts um, about the Steve-O interview with Tom DeLong. Um, pretty fascinating, the whole interview, you know, the interview's like an hour and 15 minutes long. I watched the whole thing. Um, it was an interesting, interesting interview now, just getting an insight to Tom's life and stuff and about Blink, my, one of my favorite, all-time favorite bands. I've even got Tom DeLong's other band, All My Angel, Angels and Our Waves. There's, there's a whole fleet of them. But anyway, besides the point, um, yeah, just about uh, his life and, you know, Blink breaking up and all that stuff and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, yes, as I was saying in short, the most interesting point was uh, when Tom was talking about his To The Stars Academy. Um, and he was uh, talking about UFOs and, and things like that. And he even stated this himself, you know, if you want to know anything, if you want to know anything about UFOs, you read the Bible, you know. That, that's that's what started opening. What started me looking at the UFOs was was biblical texts saying about you know things in the skies and stuff and you know all that game. And I've been researching it for a while now. But the kind the the thing that I found out, which Tom then clarified on that interview, was people think UFOs are aliens from different country or countries. <laughs> You just got a plane from a different country, or UFOs from different planets. You know, aliens from different planets flying these UFOs. Uh, they're coming down, doing whatever, and humans and testing them and doing whatever, blah blah blah. But that's 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 nonsense because, uh, again, as he states in the interview, this is something I've researched into as well over over the years. Our existence, they're waves, you know, waves of energy. So. It's hard to explain this. Um, like the past, present, and future are all happening at the same time, only on different wavelengths. Um, so, what the, the UFOs we are seeing are actually are—they aren't from different worlds, different planets, different moons, whatever, whatever, blah blah blah, whatever nonsense people think. They're actually interdimensional beings which are able to pass through different waves of energy and different existences, uh, if that makes sense. You know, I, I can't remember who it was, but a famous, famous, uh, uh, what do you call it, philosopher always says, always said, reality is stranger than fiction. And you know what, he's, he's right. Because, you know, these people are like, oh, no such thing as UFOs, no such thing as that, no such thing as God, no such thing. But that's nonsense because, you know, in order for these waves to get here, there has to be some sort of grand design behind it. There has to be somebody behind it to, to put this all here. You know, um, as I said before, you know, space is chaos. The heavens are chaos. You know, uh, well, I'm not saying the heavens because the heavens is another dimension, but we would, you know, the ancients would call space the heavens. Um, it's chaos up there. So how is there order in this world? You know, nothing can bring order to chaos. The only thing that can bring order to chaos is the divine. Nothing... Uh, that we see or, or or that we can make human or humanly make can bring order to chaos. There's only one thing that can do that and that's love, empathy, peace, respect and all of those are God, you know, um the the Almighty. Uh and that's and that's my views on that anyway. But yes, back to the UFOs. Um so yes they're interdimensional beings. Um if you watch the interview, it's it's underneath one of my shorts, the last short I put up there. Uh, Tom DeLong explains it far better than me because obviously he's he's got the two the Stars Academy. He meets with the uh, CIA and, and all the all the officials in America. You know he he meets with them all and stuff. And it's the Americans covering this up. You know, like that that those bodies of those aliens that um, the Mexicans give out. That was nonsense because they don't even look like mummies. They just look like stone. It looks like they've been carved out of stone. And yes, they did x-rays on them and you saw wombs and stuff inside them and, and skeletal. But what's to stop somebody put, you know, putting that inside the stone? And then, you know, there's ways that they could do that. There's, there's, there's numerous ways you could do that to make it look real. Um, I don't get me wrong. I don't think it was done recently. Like, I think it was done maybe a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago. But... The fact is, they're not mummy mummified aliens, um, because you know, like these these uh, these UFOs that we see, they move about the skies at the speed of thought. You know that that's that's 
that your the brain can't even the human brain can't even comprehend how fast that is. They move at the speed of thought, meaning what they're flying in and what they're getting about in is part of them. It's biological material. Um so you know they go into it and whatever they think is where they go. You know, that sort of thing. So if they want to go from Earth to the far end of the universe, all they need to do is think about it and they're there in a blip. But Yes, and, and anyway, as a friend of the Bible, whenever the Bible talks about it, they say that there'll be signs and the you know, look look to the skies, there'll be signs in the skies, all that their stuff. They are interdimensional beings, which are also demonic beings. Um so they say that the final war will be a spiritual war between good and evil. The final war will be with these things flying about our skies. So it will one hundred percent. And it will be between good and evil because they're demonic. You know, it's 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 demons flipping through realities. There's, there's nothing more to it. Um, but yes, anyway, I've got out of the road. How are we all today? Good. I, I'm sitting here waiting for someone to answer me. I'm sitting here on my own talking to a freaking phone. You know. Um, but yes, uh, so I want you just to look, have a wee look at that interview. Uh, it's... I only put up the snippet underneath my short of uh, when he talks about the UFOs, but there is obviously a longer interview. It's over an hour long. It's, it's brilliant. I'd watch the whole thing if I was you because it's just a, uh, it's just interesting, you know, hearing about Blink and stuff. Because like you know, I've liked Blink since since we first got cable in when I was a kid, and the first time I turned on Kerrang, and the first time I heard rock music, that was me, you know, uh, I loved it, but. Rock, and I think Blink were probably one of the, one of the first bands I ever heard, and also one of another first one of the first bands I heard was Cradle of Filth. Um, I wouldn't listen to them anymore, but back when I was younger, I did. I was a wee gothic era, you know. But yes, I want to hear your views on it. If you wouldn't mind, go and check out the interview. It's on the the the, the UFO snippet is under my short, but if you go onto that, you'll find the full interview underneath it because uh, it's it's on Steve O's. You know his wild rides or whatever you call that thing where he goes around in the camper van and uh, talks to people yeah well give her a go and let me know what you all think so anyway yes i'm gonna go here i was just a wee quick one today because i need to make up the hours i have to flip and have so many hours of, of footage online before i can do this and before i can do that it's ridiculous see flipping youtube it's the hardest platform to get any to, to get anywhere on like I'm on different ones uh, where I upload videos as well. I'll probably upload this to the other one as well, the other two or three. And from dead dot on one of the other ones, I'm not going to mention the name because they are not, well, technically they are paying me, but they're not paying me to advertise for them. But from dead dot, from I put up my first video, it goes by views on if you get paid. I got over a thousand views, so I got paid like three quid, you know. But that's far better than YouTube. Why, why does YouTube not have that in place, depending on views, whether you get paid? Because it's it's the views that they are earning money on, so it doesn't make sense to me why why you have to go through all this crap. Like it's like something like two hundred and fifty thousand hours of footage you have to have up, or and so many followers, fifty thousand followers or something like that is insanity. It'll take years to build that up, and I'm doing this right. I'm not doing it the way all those other tools on here do it and pay for pay, pay for followers and you know, pay to get monetized or whatever you call that crap. I'm not doing that because I want to do it myself I don't want to pay someone to, to do it for me you know that's just the lazy people in it so anyway I'm gonna go here but uh, it's only been a nine minute one um but I will be back on I just don't have much to talk about today I've been I've been busy running about all over the shop doing things and taking care of stuff and all that sort of game but anyways I'll see you in the next one guys and check out that video and make sure you comment under my Send me a message or comment underneath this video what your views are on it. And nobody being ignorant now, like, come on, it's you know, nobody's allowed to be ignorant under my thing because if they are, I just delete their, their, their comment. Simple. Um no talking out of your butt. In other words, just be civil and, and everything in this is opinion. Everything online is opinion. Yeah, it's opinions. So if you can't take someone else's opinion without being a bellion, and don't bother reading it and don't bother watching my video, you know. Um, anyway, take it easy guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.